Hey guys, welcome to our April newsletter for 2023. And uh, today we're gonna give you a little bit of a recap of uh, the first quarter in real estate and in the economy. A lot of what we're seeing right now is uh, good news is bad news, bad news is bad news, and no one's quite sure which direction to turn or go. The Fed has continued to tighten their rates and tighten monetary policy. Uh, it's anticipated that in March, uh, which is when the Fed meets next, that they're gonna raise rates by another 25 basis points. So how does this affect real estate? Uh, to start the year, uh, we've definitely seen real estate cool a bit. Interestingly enough, prices have remained stable though. Uh, rates have gone up uh, over the first part of the year, uh, kind of as anticipated with what the Fed is doing, uh, but that hasn't affected prices uh, like most people thought. And what I'm hearing is most buyers or sellers are waiting for uh, this event to happen that isn't likely to happen. That is rates drop and prices drop. What's keeping prices stable is the fact that our inventory in general is down double digits. In, in our local market, it's down over 20%. And in a lot of the areas that we operate in, it's down 20 plus, 30 plus percent. So our number one problem still remains an inventory problem, meaning we don't have enough homes to sell. And the stuff that is selling uh, isn't selling as fast as it was, uh, and it's not selling for as much as, as it was, uh, you know, 12 months, 18 months ago. Um, so we are seeing fewer homes uh, sell above asking price. As a matter of fact, in most of our areas, only 22% of homes are selling uh, with an offer that was over the list price, and the rest are at or below. What, what we anticipate uh, is coming out of the winter months is that real estate is going to pick up. And within the last week or two, what we've been seeing is homes that come onto the market that are priced well, maybe a little bit below the average or a little bit below the comps. They're conditioned well, uh, a, a little better condition than the comps. So price below, condition better. Those, off, those properties are getting multiple offers. We are seeing that again, and we're seeing a lot of activity on those homes. So whether it's a cyclical thing in real estate or buyers and or sellers are starting to have their expectations align, and we're, we're past the, the eye of the tornado with regards to rates. We've kind of settled into the fact that they're gonna stay in the six to 7% range for a little bit. Prices aren't moving like we anticipated uh, with regards to like a, a massive decline. And so they're making a decision or the consumer's making a decision to move on real estate uh, regardless of the current environment. And the thing to keep in mind is we have a couple of variables in real estate. And in order to control the situation, we have to make a choice to, to control one of the variables. And so for, for most of us, it's buying or selling. We're gonna lock in a price, uh, whether we're selling or buying, and we're gonna deal with the rate later. Uh, we've been talking over some of our past videos about affordability options. Those are still very much in play. And so over the next you know, year to three years, uh, there's several options to make rates low um, and more affordable in an effort to beat the banks and try and beat rate. And then you can always refinance later. I'd say you know, in this, in this next quarter, Q2, we'll probably see activity pick up a bit. We might see price stabilize, maybe see two to 3% appreciation. Rates gonna remain the same. Uh, the Fed has already forecasted that they're more than likely gonna raise rates in May uh, by 25 basis points. I don't think there's gonna be anything uh, economically that's gonna alter their path on that. So we might see a couple more rate hikes throughout the year. Um, but remember, real estate's a resilient asset. You have needs with regards to family, personal job changes, things along those lines. And it's okay to make that decision to buy or sell real estate in any market. Uh, most people that are successful with real estate buy on a schedule. Obviously, we're not all investors, but there is a need always, and real estate is a resilient asset.